Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here. We're back at City Walk because it's another rainy night and we're hungry. So, what better place than Antihitos? We get the Mexican foods. You heard the girl. Chips and salsa. Chip and salsa. Not too spicy, not too cilantro y, not too onion y. It's a medium four. Two and a half out of five um, salsas. It doesn't make me want a salsa dance. Never gonna say no to a table salsa. I don't care if it is average. Oh, cilantro. Good job. Three out of five bucks. support channel for all your guac needs. Watch Princess in the Bay. Ingredients are a little bit off balance. I agree a little bit salty. It's less of guac and more like salty off the I would agree the two out of five plus. I love a good guacamole, so now I've got to try. See if it's as salty as it seems. I can see what they mean. It's definitely got a saltier flavor. I don't know if it's like the red onions competing with the salty flavor. It kind of gives it like that weird kind of like, I don't know which one's supposed to be first kind of balance. So it does kind of give it like that salty kind of esque flavor. And the cilantro is pretty strong. I don't like cilantro, but I do like lime juice and salt. And so it might be a little bit higher for me from like the 2.5 kind of era. But I agree, it is a little bit salty more than I like an avocado to be and not nearly as spicy. I love a good like pickled jalapeno or a jalapeno bite into a guacamole. I want something that makes me sweat a little bit. I'm gonna have to go more in the salsa for that. So 2.5 out of five. I got a mezcal old fashioned because I love mezcal. We're just gonna go hard now with the old fashioned. You got the smokiness of the mezcal with like a light little syrup in here. I can dig this. I would give this a uh, four out of five mezcals. This is good. Ooh. Okay, I smell the mezcal more than the bourbon. This is what I imagine a south of the border bonfire smells like. With more tequila. Ooh. 
know you guys have seen me drink a lot of corn whiskey old fashioned from Macava. This might put this thing out of its out of its misery. This is strong. Like a uh, wrestle a bull with your bare hands strong. I was expecting to hate it, but I kinda like it. Three and a half out of five plus. I had to go the same as the princess. A little bit of mezcal, a little bit of old fashioned. When I get into it, all I can smell is mezcal. I don't even smell the tequila, it's just straight mezcal flavors. It's strong. It's definitely more of a corn tequila drink than I would say the corn old fashioned is in La De Macaba. But I might like that one a little bit more. Just because this one seems like it hits the back of my throat a lot. It's not bad, but it's strong. It's more tequila than whiskey. I'll drink it, but I like my whiskey more. 3.5 out of 5. So we have some beautiful nopales. This is cactus, and we have not had cactus quite some time, not since margaritas, in Jacksonville. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description box down below. I love cactus. It's gonna be better with the fixins, but I'm just gonna eat it by itself, just for fun. Funsies. I love me a good cactus. It's so sweet. It's so delicious. Some people say cactus is slimy, but if you cook it properly, it's amazing. I'm gonna give this um, four out of five cacti. It's very good. It's much better than the other two dishes we had here in the past. So here we have a little uh, cactar taco. Hopefully when I bite into it, I'll get a thousand needles. If you recognize the reference, as always, let me know in the comments. But uh, let's uh, have a poke. Mm. Juicy, but still a little bit of crisp. Well seasoned all the way through. Got a nice bite, full of flavor. I'm feeling a bit quenched in my hunger. Three out of five points. So here we have the fire and ice. Basically a spicy pineapple margarita with a gigantic pineapple popsicle in it. Pineapple all the things. And yes, pineapple doesn't love in pizza. It kind of tingle that hurts my soul. This is one of the only places I found a margarita that's actually spicy. Added with a pineapple popsicle, it's a nice touch. This drink is what I call an experience. For me, four and a half out of five points. Spicy margarita? Mask, I don't even know. It kind of reminds you of like those gourmet popsicle shops, which kind of makes sense with the popsicle sticking in it. Where it's like, I have a lime margarita pop, and I would eat the shit out of that. On a hot day, that would be scarfed down. That's really delicious though. I would probably give it like a 3.5. 3.54 out of five stars. I'd drink again. Well, here we have the El Pastor tacos. Pretty traditional style. We've got a nice little chunk of pork on each. Served with rice and greens and some verde sauce. Got a nice full thick taco. They didn't skip. You got plenty of meat. Tons of little onions. Let's give her a bite. Mm. If nothing else I say about antihitos tonight, they give good pork. Nice and savory, deep and juicy, not dried out. But this is what I expect a taco to taste like. It's still not California tacos, but it's a step in the right direction.
I'll give that three and a half out of five points. Got it? Sorry. I decided this time to be a little bit more boring and go with a nice thick boy. I'd say two and a half cheese thick boy. But a nice chicken burrito, smothered in cheese, a little bit of side of guap and side of beans. I am not going to be a grizzly bear today. I'm going to act like maybe like a civilized yogi. Nice and full of chicken. They definitely didn't skip on anything. Chicken done well. Cheese sauce is a little bit of kick. Oh, it's a nice burrito. If I'm gonna write home about it, this is amazing. me. I'm gonna go home and write a dissertation about it. But as far as getting what you ask for, it's a chicken filled burrito. Two and a half out of five points. Another successful Antihito's dinner. Yes, I think it's it better every time that we come. I like it. I would agree. The options are great and the drinks are staying consistent, which has always been our favorite part about Antihito's. Uh, I'd like to see more. I'd like to come back for more. The menu changes, of course, we'll come back again. Uh, if you know of a Mexican place that can outdo Antihito's, we need to know. I don't, not, not we want to know, we need the bottom fits of our hearts. You need to know where that is. Let us in the comments. If there's anywhere else you like this go, City Walk, or Orlando, period, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I like this video. If you don't comment, well, I guess no guacamole for you. That's right. No guacamole for you. You burn. You heard the girls. You